All right, what up, guys? My name is George Gibson. I'm the host of the New America Dream podcast. And, you know, right now we got about five hours into until 2022. And I... I really just want to come to you because 2021, I learned so much. And, you know, I know everybody, you don't look at anything as a failure. It's a lesson learned. You understand? And 2021, I, I learned a lot. And one of the things that I really, really want, you know, people in general to become better at and what, you know, what is my gift at is, you know, um, investing uh saving and budgeting that is what you know my natural born you know skills are but you know what i struggled with and what i learned in 2021 i, I struggled with uh spending more time with family uh working out more uh spiritual going to church more uh spending more time with my child so having balance you know because a lot of times we love to do what we're really, really great at. So you spend all the energy and time in getting better at what you already pretty much don't even need to get better at. So I want, you know, for 2022, I'm, I'm a, what I know, I'm going to tell you, this is what the easiest and the best way to start out 2022. You know, this is my motto for this year. And I want you to have the same motto. You all right? Pay yourself first. I know it sounds like you heard that a whole bunch of times, but I really want you to do that this year. And every, you know, every week, I want you to, whenever you get a check or paycheck, you know, take away 10 to 20%, you know, much as possible and live off the rest. So, for example, first week of January, you make a $1,000 paycheck on Friday immediately take $150 off out and don't put it in a shoebox, in a, a, a sock or container in your house where you can easily get it. Put it in an account, you know, where you don't have a debit card. You know, you don't even get a debit. When they ask you, do you want a debit card? Say, no, 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 no. Get it at a bank where you don't have an account at, you don't have a card, and you take that $150 and you put it in that account every week. I want you to do that. Because, you know, that's the first step. You know, a tree start with one seed. And, you know, that's your seed. You start out with that $150 and let it go for the six months to a year, whatever. But when it get to a substantial amount, you know, where you can take that 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 little piece and you say, okay, where are we going to invest it at? And when you, you know, when you go to invest it, don't go to your friend who started 20 businesses or your brother or your auntie or somebody who got a good idea who don't have a business go to a professional you know if you want to invest in a in a lawn service business go to a professional lawn service service person who already got a business you know what i'm trying to say is invest if you're going to invest your money invest it with somebody who is good with money that's what i'm saying or invest it if somebody is telling you gold is good make sure that they got a lot of knowledge and they got a lot of gold you know so don't just be taking your money and, and invest it in a gold person but he he uh work at a factory for a living he work at a factory but he an uh, expert on gold that don't make sense so you know put your money with professionals all right that's the first tip so First, take that 10 to 20%, put it over to the side. Second, once it gets to a, a decent amount, whatever you want to do with it, make sure you give it to a professional in that field because that professional in that field uh, has a proven track record and that is when you take that money and uh, that, that next egg that you had, it's going to uh, start growing faster and it's going to have children. So you basically you want your money to work for uh, your money to work for you because you know the 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 whole point of life is you know you're preparing for old age when you can't work you get sick you get elderly you're not strong you can't travel as much and that's when you say hmm 
I, I've been putting away from this. I invested in this. I bought some houses. I bought some land. And you got you got investment, passive income. And that's when you sit back and you start to, um, you know, you got a tree and you got shade over it. And you chilling because you already did the things that were necessary at the early, early stage, you know. So, you know, don't don't stress yourself out and try to save more than what you need to just save a little bit because it adds up. And then second, I won't, you know, and this is this is what I have to do. You know, I I always set goals for myself and then I reach them. And as soon as I reach that goal, I back the goal up or I make another goal real fast. So it's kind of like you're never, ever uh, being truly satisfied. You know, you always hungry for more. Like, all right, I bought four properties. Oh, I need eight properties. Now I got eight properties. Oh, I need 16 properties. Oh, I got 16 properties. Now I need an apartment complex. Oh, I got apartment complex. Now I need a hotel. It's like, you know, that is not a healthy for your, your body. It's not healthy for your mind. And, you know, the other day, my mom told me that I was like, she was like, you need to stop working so much. I'm like, mom, I'm not working. She was like, your brain working. And I'm like, duh. And I'm using my brain now. I'm losing it. Right. But yes, your brain is a very important tool. You know, your brain is one of the most important tools. And, you know, you got to turn it off sometime. And that's what I'm learning to do for 2022. You know, I'm a, I'm a focus. I'm a work and do what I need to work, but also I'm going to turn it off a lot more and just, you know, relax and just, uh, watch family guy or watch family matters, whatever. I just want to have a balanced life. And you, you know, like I, like I spend, like I was telling my, uh, one of my homeboys, you know, I put like 90% of my time into like business, entrepreneur, just growing. Cause I love it. I truly love it. What I do. And you know, when I, I came from a job that I hated. So now that the fact that like, even what I'm doing now, podcasts and YouTube videos, I love doing this stuff. So I literally could do it like 80, hundred hours a week, but that's not healthy and it's not healthy for your mental. So 2022, I want you to focus more on your health because, you know, I realized, you know, without your health, without your mental, you can't even go get the, um, the bag. So we already chase, I'm chasing the bag. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. And you don't, you don't realize you're, you, you're going to burn out eventually. And you know, the funny part about it is back in the day, they had a lot less than we had as far as money uh, toys, traveling. It was a lot less to do back then. And we have a lot more they had back, back in the day, like our grandparents, but they had more time. Time is something you never would get back. If you go ask your, you know, grandparents or your parents, um, like different stories, they got tons of stories with cousins and stuff because they spent so much time together. Nowadays, you know, us millennials, we work, 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 work. We're not going to have no stories when we get older to be like, hey, you remember that time we was at a cookout? He sat in the chair and it fell in the water. Like, like, you know, everybody's working. Everybody's chasing a bag. Everybody's trying to get somewhere. And it's like, when are we going to just sit back and breathe and be like, you know what? Last year, I didn't have a car. Last year, I didn't even have no rental properties. Last year, I was working a freaking dead end job, you know? Just five, just three years ago, I was working a job I hated and, you know, I'm still out here, you know, chasing, trying to get to that next level because, you know, social media is dangerous too, because it plays a big part in everybody's successful on social media. So, you know, you don't want to just be content. You don't want to be a failure because everybody's moving, but you know what, you know, going forward, I think we need to, you know, be professional deal with professional people, take more time with your family, with yourself. And the number one is, you know, pray, be spiritual every single day, because that's like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, when like, just say God, you know, when we, when we, you, when you die and you go to heaven and God, you come up there, I just want God to be like, George, you did a great job while you was down there. And, you know, and that's like, you know, what did you do? You know, he don't, I mean, 
a lot of things people do is like, is it necessary? Would God be happy for that? So we want you to, I want you to be, um, don't chase, don't worry about the next person, run your own race, right? That's the key to being successful. I'm telling you from a financial or real estate standpoint, you know, you can't be a real estate investor if you don't save first. That's why I started off, you know, this video with save 10%. You know, after you do that, you got your taxes, you got the church, you got your bills and family, right? But pay yourself first. That's the number one rule for 2021. Don't give other people your money, your time, your energy before you give it to yourself first. And that's, you know, a, a very important start to a great year. And I, I believe, you know, as, as, as you start to do that and a lot more people will be, become more, uh, financial stable. And when the world is like, you remember when they was giving out stimulus checks, I bet crime went down the week the, st the stimulus checks came out. I guarantee you because people are, are less stressed, uh, less on edge. Everybody had funds, but I want you teach the world, I want to teach high school students how to become uh, more financial free, independent, and realize that, you know, the measuring tool is not money. The measuring tool is time. If you got all the money in the world with no time, you broke. That's just plain and simple. So, you know, free up your time, you know, 2022, and I'm going to do more videos on this subject. I'm going to give my expert expertise advice. I I pray that, you know, everybody give their expertise advice. If you got a gift, you got a purpose and you feel like, you know, God put you here to do that, please share it with the world to make it a better place. I'm your host, George Gibson. You can like, share this video. Um, New American Dream Podcast is going to be coming out every week and you can ask your question live on the podcast. Uh, contact um, Instagram, George Do Real Estate. God bless. I'll see you in 2022.